very influential unit of the Zionist Freemasonic movement in this country, and certainly with links to to powerful interests around the world. It is not the Jesuits who control ABC, CBS, NBC, or U.S. News and World Report, or Time, or Newsweek. The Zionists and people under the uh, thumb of the Zionists are in control of these major news networks and, and magazines. And as American Free Press always says, uh, the media is the enemy. You don't find the Jesuit order running those networks. You don't find the Jesuit order running the Anti-Defamation League. You find very powerful Zionist Jewish families running those elements that uh, dictate uh, public policy in America, that dictate who gets elected, that send uh, Catholic politicians like Jim Traffic to jail, for example, uh, you know, uh, by uh, trumping up false charges against them that are broadcast throughout the media. No, no, the Jesuits uh, are, are, of, are of no substantial influence in this country. Uh, <laughs> not at all. The Zionists, however, are. Okay, and we're going to go into this break, and I don't want to cut anybody off. And uh, we have, let me just, for my callers, just because you guys are, li- there's a whole bunch of callers lining up, and I don't want to uh, forget you, so hold on, be patient. Uh, I have some more questions. I know Eric and Mike have questions uh, of each other, and we will get to those calls, though. Great debate uh, back in three minutes on the Investigative Journal. Final hour, and this is kind of short. I wish I had a few more hours. Uh, this is going too fast, and there's just so many things to get at. Uh, we're going to do the best we can, and I want to thank both my guests uh, for coming on. Uh, and let me just uh, tell you who they are again. It's Michael Collins Piper. You know him as a uh, talk show host on RBM from six to seven every day, and he's written two books called *The New Jerusalem: Zionist Power in America*, and then *Final Judgment: uh, The Missing Link in the JFK Assassination Conspiracy*. And Eric John Phelps, my other guest, has written uh, uh, three versions, three uh, uh, books called The Vatican Assassins. He's finishing the third edition. And uh, both of them trying to get at the truth behind what's happening in America. Both are pointing to a different enemy. They may be interlocked somewhere along the line, but we need to find out. A question I have, and I think um, I want to ask this a real vital question. Uh, Right now we're engaged in a war. According to the Bush administration and terror, many soldiers are dying as we speak. Many other innocents are dying in Iraq and all over the Middle East. How do the Zionists, Michael, and I assume we're finished with the last topic. Uh, if not, you guys can add uh, in after I ask this question. But anyway, how are the Zionists uh, uh, intermingling with the Muslims? If, if the enemy is, is not the Muslims, how then have they, uh, who then has, how have they infiltrated uh, the Muslim uh, uh, peoples? Well, I think uh, actually, you know, this brings up a point. I, you know, I've written another book which a lot of the listeners have read and are familiar with, The High Priests of War, and that's an account of the rise of these neoconservative pro Israel war hawks who directed the Bush administration into this war against uh, Iraq, and now they're aiming for Iran, and they, they have already made it clear in their writings and pronouncements that it's a war against the entire Muslim world. And I think it's important to point out that the Vatican, now Mr. Phelps says the Vatican is in, under the control of the Jesuits. The Vatican opposed the war against Iraq. So if the Vatican, under the control of the Jesuits, is in fact really in favor of a war against the Muslim world, then they would have wholeheartedly supported the uh, supported the Iraq war, which they did not. In May fact... Respond. Well, let me let me just make one more point. The uh, Civiltica Cattolica, which is a uh, Vatican-approved newspaper, even went so far as to suggest that uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the newspaper overemphasis on some of these sex scandals in the 
Vatican and in the Catholic Church, which are rightly being reported, I might add, they said that the overemphasis of that was because of the mass media being disturbed about the fact that the Vatican did not support the war against Iraq. And as I said, if you look at who controls the mass media in America and certainly in a lot of places in Europe, you will find that it is not the Jesuits. It is the pro-Zionists and the Zionists. Eric, okay. I'm going to ask you the same question. Go ahead. Okay. In response to uh, Mr. Piper's statement that the Vatican is openly against the Iraq war, this is par for the course. The Vatican always has an open policy, and that is not their true policy. Their true policy is their secret policy. For example, the Jesuits controlled Bavaria. They controlled all of Munich for centuries. In fact, Bavaria was called the Jesuit stronghold north of the Alps. It's out of Bavaria that we have the first 30 years' war from 1618 to 1648. It's the very same Jesuit controlled Bavaria out of which comes the Nazi party. But what is the open policies of a man by the name of Jesuit Meyer? Why, they're openly against the rise of Hitler. But secretly they backed him, they manned his SS, they were involved in making Croatia that horrible Eustachi state that killed nearly a million Jews and Orthodox, or Orthodox Serbs. So they always have an open policy, but that's not their true policy. They have a secret policy, and their secret policy is they're completely and totally behind this war against the Muslim world. James Angleton called for a war against Islam back in the 70s. Uh, Francis Xavier said, give me a world without Muslims and a world without Jews, pursuant to Boyd Barrett's great work that, he, that I have. No, that's their secret policy, and there's evidence of that because I maintain that the Archbishop of New York is controlled by the Jesuits of Fordham University, and the Archbishop controls the Knights of Malta, the American tongue in this country. It was George J. Tennant, one of the few holdovers of the Clinton administration, who is a member of the Knights of Malta. He was educated by Jesuits at their, uh, Georgetown Jesuits at their School of Foreign Service. He's a member of the Council on Foreign Relations, and he's one of the linchpins responsible for 9-11 and thus this papal crusade against the Muslim world. Okay, and the Mike, uh, let me get back to this uh, question and see if I get it right here from Michael's point of view and your point of view, Eric. If, Michael, basically then we have the situation where our government has been usurped by what you say the Zionist power. Uh, in that, they have uh, put uh, controls on the CIA and the Mossad, and basically have they, uh, in your estimation, taken over the leaders of the Muslim world to create this war? How does that interact? How have they done this to, to really create this enemy uh, called al-Qaeda uh, from your point of view? And then I want to ask Eric the same question on whether he believes the Jesuits are behind this infiltration. Go ahead. Okay, Michael. well, that's a pretty pretty tall order, in, in especially in regard to... Well, we've got a lot on the line here. We've got people dying. Yeah, I, I guess, uh, actually, I'll tell you something. I would like to make, uh, make a suggestion. I am so confident in my position that I would be willing to have all people who are calling in in support of my position hang up the phone right now, and I will only talk to people who stand with Eric and against my position because I feel so strongly about it. So. You're, going to be, you're not going to believe this. Most of the callers are for both of you. So that's interesting. Well, that's a, in any case. But anyway, I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, in okay. any case, I, what I was about to say was that uh, now uh, Eric says that uh, the Vatican has, he wants us to believe that the Vatican says one thing publicly when it really means one thing privately. Well, I guess, does he believe that that also applies to, say, the issue of abortion? Is that's correct. Pro? Okay, so the Vatican is actually pro-abortion. Secretly, the Jesuits are behind abortion. Absolutely, they perfected it. In the convents with the nuns. Okay. I just wanted to get that clarified for the public record here. I don't believe that, but then again, uh, you know, earlier, Eric, you, you cited the Bible and you, you, you suggested that, the, that the, 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 the Bible, refer the city of the seven hills, refers to Rome. I have heard Christian uh, uh, pastors such as Reverend Ted Pike, who's a very popular figure in RBN, I believe uh, Reverend Pike in one of his videos suggests that uh, actually that uh, that city referred to is actually Jerusalem. So I guess what I'm saying here is is that we can't have a serious debate if we are going to uh, base it on one man's interpretation of the Bible because there are so many different interpretations of the Bible that we could go 
on and on and on and discussing that. Now, okay, but what I'm saying is that's my position so that the listener understands the foundation from which...